Hi guys and welcome to Just Basics and welcome back to another video. In today's video is a continuation of the GL iNet AC1200 Gigabit Router Unboxing. Today I will show you how to install OpenWRT in it. Now just a brief introduction, what is OpenWRT and why would you install it to your router? Okay, the OpenWRT project is a Linux operating system targeting embedded devices. Instead of trying to create a single static firmware, OpenWRT provides a fully writable file system with package management. This frees you from application selection and configuration provided by the vendor and allows you to customize the device through the use of packages to suit any application. For developers, OpenWRT is the framework to build an application without having to build a complete firmware around it. For users, this means the ability for full customization to use the device in ways never envisioned. So basically, you'll have more freedom to customize your router to suit your needs, instead of being limited by the firmware the vendor has on your router. Okay, so let's start. First, just connect to your router via LAN cable, it will be easier. Once connected, go to its default gateway address. The IP address is 192.168.8.1. The login screen will show up, so just enter your password. If you haven't done this yet, you can also watch my unboxing video for the initial set. Or if you want, you can just reset your router. So all the settings will go back to its default. You can do this by inserting a pin into its reset hole at the back. Or you can revert the settings back inside the dashboard. I did this because I messed up my first installation of OpenWRT. <laughs> so go to More Settings, then Revert Firmware, then click Revert Now. Then just wait for a few minutes for the process to finish. After finishing, the router will go to the initial setup, so just select your preferred language and set up your admin password. Please take note of your admin password because you will use this later. After setting up a password, we can now install OpenWRT. So go click on Advance, then just wait for it to refresh. After a few minutes, the Install Lucy button will turn to purple. By the way guys, Lucy is the web interface, so it's easier to navigate rather than via command line only. After installation, just close the prompt and you're ready to use OpenWRT. So click this link to log in to Lucy. Okay, now just leave the root username and use your router's admin password for the password. This is the password you use to log into the router. Now you're in, and for me this is so overwhelming because it has a lot of settings but of course for those advanced users out there, I know you'll like this. On the first tab, on the status, there are a lot of options already and I like this real-time graphic to monitor traffic on your connections. Then you have the system tab as well. Again, many settings to configure here. And then the network tab, which I think should be the first tab you will access because you want to change the Wi-Fi password and Wi-Fi name. So go click wireless, and in here you will see the overview. It looks so complicated, but if you look carefully, it's just easy to change it. So here is your 5G Wi-Fi, it's what I use. Then click edit, and here you can change the SSID or the Wi-Fi name. Then here you can change the password. So after changing those, make sure to take notes so if you ever forget it, it will be easier guys. Alright guys, so you've seen that there are a lot of settings to configure and to explore. I haven't explored most of them yet. So please stay tuned on the channel for more upcoming videos about this GL iNet. 1200 AC1200. Please do subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell as well for you to be notified for my upcoming videos. You can also check the unboxing video if you haven't. And please check out the link in the description box if you ever you want to purchase this item or if you want to check this out. Go ahead and check it on the description box.
Again, guys, this is Jess. Thank you for watching up in this part of this video. Again, subscribe, follow me, and click the thumbs up button as a bonus for me. And see you on my next video. Bye.